Hey guys, so let's look at this very first question from CAT 2021, uh, first slot. I just want you all to give it a try and then you can resume the video to look at the solution. Okay guys, f of x is equal to x square plus 2x minus 15 divided by x square minus 7x minus 18 is negative if and only if. So basically you want this expression to be less than zero. All right. So I'll just rewrite it here. X square plus 2x minus 15. Okay. Divided by x square minus 7x minus 18. You want this entire thing to be less than zero. Okay. So what I will first do is I'll factorize the two quadratic equations. As you can see, there are two quadratic equations and the numerator and denominator both. So we factorize them first in the numerator. You have X square plus two X minus 15. Uh, we want two numbers whose sum is plus two and product is minus 15, uh, five and minus three. So the numerator can be split as X plus five into X minus three. And in the denominator, we have two numbers whose sum should be minus seven and product minus 18. So minus nine and plus two. So X minus nine into X plus two. Okay, this entire thing should be less than zero. Now, uh, in the denominator, guys, we have x minus nine and x plus two. So what we do is we multiply and divide above and below by x minus nine and x plus two. So basically, we will have x minus nine into x plus two in the denominator again, x minus nine into x plus two. Okay, now x minus nine into x minus nine, basically x minus nine square. And x plus 2 into x plus 2, basically x plus 2 square. That means in the denominator, we have a perfect square, right? Now the perfect square will have either value 0, well, it can't be 0 here because in that case, the expression is not defined. So the perfect square here has to be positive, right? That means if the entire expression needs to be less than 0, this term will not contribute, right? Okay, so the only part that needs to be negative is the numerator which is x minus 9 into x plus 2 into x plus 5 into x minus 3. Now, this part can be very easily solved, guys, using something called as the wavy curve method. Okay, to understand the wavy curve method better, you can uh, look at the course videos. And in that, I've actually explained the entire thing in detail. So you can check out my course for uh, quantitative aptitude. In that, we have discussed this wavy curve method in detail. So the roots are x minus 9 being 0 at x equal to 9 x plus 2 being 0 at x equal to minus 2, x plus 5 is 0 when x is minus 5, and x minus 3 is 0 when x is equal to 3. Now, you take any value of x more than 9, guys. Suppose you take x is more than 9, that is 10. Uh, if you put x equal to 10, this becomes plus 1, this bracket. This bracket becomes plus 12. This becomes plus 15. This becomes plus 7. So overall, the product will be positive. Now, the powers of all the brackets here Basically, the power is same, which is one. We have learned this already in the course that whenever the power is odd, there is sign change, right? So there's a sign change here. There's a sign change at x equal to three also. Sign change at x equal to minus two also and minus five also. So this is how the wavy curve is going to be, right? Uh, again, uh, you want this entire expression to be less than zero. As we can observe, the expression will be less than zero in between minus five and minus two or three to nine. And this is very much encapsulated very effectively, very correctly by the A option. So the answer to your question here is option A.